Earth's magnetic shield in space is rife with a symphony of sounds that we just can't hear. But making our satellite recordings of them audible, I never expected to hear this. And here's the story of how we found it. Space isn't completely empty. It's in fact filled with incredibly tenuous plasma. And that does allow for sound to exist, but only very weak sounds and at frequencies much lower than we can hear. Thankfully, we have instruments that can measure this stuff. And actually, we can make it audible to us just by speeding up the playback of these satellite recordings. The MUSIX project, Magnetospheric Undulations Sonified Incorporating Citizen Scientists, because as a physicist I love ridiculous acronyms, was all about giving high school students the ability to understand how research works by exploring these sounds from space simply by listening to them. Now this differs from regular citizen science because we're not actually giving them a very prescribed task to do. We're not crowdsourcing in this sense. We're trying to give a flavor of what a scientist actually does. And that means that not every school student is going to produce something that's worthy of publishing a paper, actually contributing to novel research. But you know, one group of school students actually did that. They discovered in the vast audio data set I gave them this particular event. Let's listen to it again. What you're hearing there are several days worth of sounds from space and their pitch decreases. What the students found out was this was actually occurring after what's known as a coronal mass ejection or solar storm hit the Earth, causing a great disturbance to our magnetic shield or magnetosphere. To me, this was incredibly exciting. I never expected to hear something that sounded like that. But the question still arose, what was it that we were hearing? And why was it like this? By studying this event in more detail, we uncovered the truth behind it. And some surprising results, to be honest. Firstly, what are these sort of whistling sounds? Well, they're the natural vibrations of Earth's magnetic field lines. You can think of them as like plucked guitar strings that form a well-defined note. These were excited because the solar storm gave energy to particles within our magnetic shield. These can then resonate with field lines causing these vibrations. But the question still arose, well, why is the pitch going down? That's not something you'd expect. Well, when Earth's magnetic shield gets disturbed, a lot of the material that's already in it gets stripped away. But as it recovers from this disturbance, it starts to fill up again with plasma coming off the top of the atmosphere. What this does is it drives the frequency of the field lines down, a bit like loosening the strings on a guitar. That's not all we found. You see, because we can go through the data so quickly using this audible version, I decided to see, does this actually occur quite often? It's only gonna take me six minutes to listen to one year, but we found 20 other events in 2013 alone. And yet, looking through all the scientific papers on sounds from space, Hardly anyone was talking about this. I only found two previous mentions. These types of event are therefore far more common than we ever thought. And the only reason we found this out was by making the sounds audible and using citizen scientists in an exploratory manner to see what's out there. These promising first results show that just by doing science in a slightly different way, an engaged way, using the public, we can actually get useful results out. But it's something I think we should do more of in the future.
Hi, thanks a lot for watching all of this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Please do uh, subscribe to my channel uh, if you wanna check out more videos from me. I'd really appreciate as well a thumbs up. And you can find out loads more about uh, the initiatives that I've been talking about in the description below. Thanks a lot.